Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. Welcome and thanks for joining me. Um, let me jump into my introduction first before I get to the topic, because that way if you haven't seen me before, you know what we're about. And unlike some people, I don't wait 15 minutes that everybody gets in the room. I'm going to get started right away. And if you come here late, you can watch the replay. So there. Um, my name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which leads me to these topics. Um, this is my daily broadcast called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's is number 346 in my daily series, so a lot of these under the belt. And today's actually was inspired by a conversation I had at lunch today. I was out to lunch with a friend of mine who I haven't seen, God, it's kind of at least, 12, 15 years? Uh, my friend Inessa, and if you're on, if you watch the broadcast in replay, or whatever, thank you for your input. And we had a great conversation today, and more to come. We have some definite uh, common threads to talk about. And this topic was one we men she mentioned in, and, and reminded me of something I've known about for a while too is about the difference between men and women. And I'm calling it sexual integrity. And subtitle is Look Before You Leap. Hopefully that'll inspire you to go, What's this about? And in some ways, it's really simple. And in some ways, it's really complicated. Um, the simple thing is that for you ladies, when you have sexual contact with a partner, and I'm being gender independent of this one because it could be gay or straight, <clears throat> but when you have sexual contact, sensual, inter sensual interaction, sexual relations, sexual intercourse, etc., etc., with a partner, your hormones and your chemical balance goes out of whack. Meaning what happens, if you don't know this already, but oxytocin, which is a chemical in the, in, the, in the body, goes into overdrive, overproduction, which is basically the bonding or connecting or um, attaching hormone, as it were. And for you women especially, and this is going to be, I'm going to back this up with some other information, but I want you to jump right into the truth. So if, you, if you've only got two seconds, here's the two seconds. Ladies, if you jump into bed with a man, if you're in a heterosexual relationship, or a woman if you're in a gay relationship, and you have sex early on in the relationship, you may be bonding too soon before you know it's the right choice. Okay, if you want to stay for the long story, let's get into the details. If you've watched my broadcast, you know I have a lot to talk about when it comes to love and relationships. That's why this is number 346. There's been a lot to talk about, and there's more to come. I know, it keeps coming through. And... I think the bottom line I want to say about this is that I'm very passionate about my audience, you, women especially, holding themselves to a higher standard when it comes to relationships, holding yourself to a high level of um, what's that, accountability. Um, but something else, hang on, all right, so Aura's comment. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, this was first done <coughs> on Facebook Live, so there are comments that are showing up here that I'm watching. So Aura's just said, uh, keep in mind, STDs and bio, bio germs too. It takes so it takes 30 days to build immunity to someone else's germs. So promiscuous people have compromised immunity. That's another piece which I wasn't going to get to, but I guess it's included now because I just read it back to what you said. So, ladies, as you know, I support you in having healthy relationships, which means that you really take care of yourself first. You love yourself, appreciate yourself. You stay in your integrity and you really set your standards high to get what you really deserve. And then you meet somebody who is appealing and is sexually attractive and you get really excited about them and you start to think about, oh, this would be fun. And you cross that line into that um, intimacy called sex. Maybe before you've really got to know the person. And besides the STDs and biogerms, your chemical balance goes out of whack and you get bonded to this person. I don't mean by handcuffs, although it can feel like that, but by the emotional and chemical connection that pulls you in and you get bonded to that person. And then a month later, two months later, you discover this person is an abuser or this person isn't loyal or this person doesn't care about you, just wants you to be for sex. Meanwhile, your emotions are all tied up into connection, being bonded, wanting to be with that person. And you can't because they're not available or because you can't for your own safety. It's very conflicting inside. And it's not something necessarily you can do anything about because the chemical reaction for most women is not controllable meaning that when you have sex it happens the, the, the chemical release 
the connections, all this stuff happens. The only control you have is to not get in bed in the first place. Now, I'm not speaking about abstinence here. I'm not talking about, you know, went to your own, fully connected, committed relationship with engagement ring before you have sex. I'm not talking about that. What I am speaking to, when I say look before you leap, for example, is to take the time to get to know your future sexual partner. Now, for some of you out there, sex is a one-night stand type thing or a friends with benefits or is this just a fun thing to do, fuck buddies, whatever that is. And I'm speaking to the fact that if you want to really, well, if you follow me, you know that what I'm inspiring and inviting you to do is look for, to create a healthy, long, long-lived, um, growing, expansive, deep, rich, rewarding relationship. That's what my book's about. That's what my coaching's about. It's what my, my direction my clients is. And if you want to just behead that and cut it off early, just jump to bed with somebody. And I'm being facetious. I'm not saying you do that. I'm actually inviting you to consider that if you really want an amazing relationship, the short-term pleasure, the short-term benefits of the sexual connection, if you've been single for a long time and had and been celibate for a long time, can be really wonderful. But at the same time, the price you pay for not having that opportunity for a long-term relationship is now a gamble because you don't know what the person's really about, but you're already bonded. It's kind of like... Um, <laughs> the analogy that showed up is it's kind of like going to a train station and getting on the first train that's pulling out without checking where it's going you got on a train great but you don't know where you're going to end up same thing's true if you have sex only in a relationship energetically speaking because you don't know where you're going to end up so it's better if you have a um, look before you leap moment to actually look ahead and see what sort of person you want to be with like seeing where the destination the train's going to go in so you know if you want to get on the train or not I mean it's, an, it's a weak analogy but it's working for me so far so this is the recognition, the reminder for you, hopefully, that you'll see, especially if you're over the age of 21 or 25, because sometimes that young, you don't really care and you just want to have fun. But bear in mind, it doesn't matter what age you are at, ladies especially, the, the chemical um, um, bonding is there. Thank you for all the love. I've used that, Jermaine. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. So my my invitation, my request, my suggestion, my encouragement particularly for the ladies men can take care of this too because you can also hold back when you know that it's easy to jump into bed with somebody to actually hold the space to get to know the other person first because for men and women truth be told both sides of the gender divide if it's straight or gay relationships sometimes the temptation for sex overrides the temptation for a long-term relationship and it's a neither or situation that comes up and we forget it's so exciting when you meet somebody especially if you've been single for a while and I'm speaking from personal experience. <laughs> so I meet somebody who I'm attracted to, the desire and the intention to be get, to jump in, connected, and have something passionate early on is very strong. But hopefully you have a little voice inside, at least I do, certainly, I hope you do too, that goes, take your time. Look clearly. Enjoy the feeling without acting on it right up front as you get to know this person and see if that person aligns with the feeling you've been having for all the whole time. Because it may work out that you have an amazing relationship because you've taken the time to get to know each other and then when you have the sex, the connection in bed and all that lovely stuff, the intimacy and that wonderful unity, then everything lines up. And that I wish for everybody that they have that in whatever relationship style they want. However, if you do follow your baser instinct as it were that desire that drive that passion to have fun and not do the discovery time the get to know each other time the um connection for the heart and mind before the loins is probably we're putting it to um it can be damaging devastating distracting ineffective which i mean you said oh you got it barry thank you and yes, the ideas and things you know, are, they are interchangeable between us all. Yes, I agree. With, and that's the thing, is that as much as, as in biologically, women have more bonding hormone, bonding chemical release than men do, it doesn't make a difference energetically long term because both of the us can be invested. Now, more men can be detached and pretend not to care. Doesn't mean they don't care. They just don't um, present that. And whereas there are quite a lot of women who pretend they don't care. I know I dated a couple of those. <laughs> and but the truth is that the, the, the chemicals are going up inside, but they're just simply like, you know, sucking it up and pretending it's not affecting them. So it does work for both, it does affect both genders, yes. So 
my intent, my wish for you, and if you watch my broadcast, all 346 of them or any of them, I say this a lot, or I should say I intend this a lot in my broadcast, is to inspire you to choose to invite and to attract healthy, whole, joy-filled, successful, long-term, fulfilling, empowering, inspiring, magical relationships. And if you don't know how to get one of those, that's where I come in. <laughs> Just I can help you with that. Um, but I'll get to that in a second. I'm to make sure I recover the points. This one's a short broadcast. By the way, if you haven't seen my broadcast for the last seven, eight days, some cliff notes. Um, thank you, Jermaine. I appreciate that. Yes, you're very welcome. The education, I'm glad it's helpful. Yes. Um, so yesterday, yesterday's or the last two, yesterday and Fridays, so that was 345, 344. One was about man boys, and ladies have definitely got value from that one, about men who are men on the outside, boys on the inside. That's an interesting conversation. I also did one about, um, what was the other one about? It'll come back to me. There was another one I did that was two days ago, and it'll come back to me. Before that were five, five or six in a row, which were the red flag advisories. So there's a whole bunch of broadcasts from like 3.36 to 3.42, something like that. I invite you to check those out. So basically from last weekend to this weekend. Um, and that second one, was has gone out of my mind. Oh dear. Okay. Bottom line is, if you haven't seen my broadcast, definitely the last week or two have been very interesting. I hope you get value from them. Where I come in, back to that point, particularly for the ladies watching this, because this is my passion, my service, my work with my clients. If you are wondering how you can create that magical relationship I mentioned earlier, besides not having sex right away, <laughs> there are a few other key pieces of the puzzle that will help you. Um, I invite you to take advantage of me. Meaning, <laughs> take advantage of a complimentary clarity conversation in my discovery session. It's my gift to you. It's a 30-minute conversation where we can talk. And you can share what's going on. I can give you some guidance, some insights, and tips. And if it feels like we line up for working together, then we can talk about that too. If you go to my website, you can find out all about it by going to barryselby.com forward slash chat. Or you can actually go to my website and click on Let's Chat. It's in the left-hand side of the menu bar. These broadcasts live on my business page. On, Barry, on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author, as well as on YouTube shortly. So if you haven't seen them there, you'll see them on YouTube. And if you're watching it there, the comments, I hopefully repeat, repeat about the comments so you know what was being said because you won't see the comments on YouTube. Um, if you go to my, my, my user name there is Barry Selby, as it, as it everywhere on, the, on social media. And my playlist is Messages to the Masculine. And again, my website is barryselby.com. Again, my name, easy to find me. Um, homework. You know what, it's Sunday. I'm not giving you homework today. Usually I do give homework, so you're lucky you got off scot-free this time. I will be back in tomorrow, number 347. We'll see what's up for that topic. Hopefully it's been of value to you. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below, and I'll respond after I sign off if I didn't get to them during the broadcast. And if you know anybody who should watch this, please share it with them. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me as always. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.